Welcome to the VE2ZZI Amateur Radio page and just wanted to show you the power supply I'm using for my ham gear. It is amazingly good. It is a good quality and it is absolutely quiet on the bands. I have no noise coming out of this. Um, this is a 50 amp switching power supply. Uh, you could see that the brand uh, just Verti. Now, don't look too much at that brand. I've seen it as another, a couple of other brands. But what will actually strike you is that the model number is always SPS 50 uh, II or LL or whatever, and that it is also um, always looks exactly like this. So even if it's not the same name here. It's the same power supply. Actually, a friend of mine has uh, purchased one that is a different brand, but it's exactly the same when we compare. Same thing. Uh, it is 50 amps, and it has, of course, this um, connector, like cigarette-type connector for connecting devices up to 10 amps. So this is cool. It has a noise offset if, for some reason, the way that you use it, there are noise, there is noise coming to your device. You can turn this knob to remove the noise from the frequency or tuning. Um, it could happen if you're really close to the power supply or using, for example, portable um, devices with it. But in standard use, like on my Yesu FTDX10, um, and the antenna being in the backyard, I hear no noise at all. It doesn't create noise within the radio. There's a voltage, voltage adjust, and I'm going to explain why. Because the output, there's an output of 13.8 volts. That is standard. And, of course, that's up to 50 amps. And here are connectors that can uh, give 2 amps each for other types of things that you might want to connect to it. Of course, the on-off switch. The meter is really nice and very well illuminated with voltage on the left and amps on the right. Now, why is there a voltage adjust on this thing? For a simple reason. If we look at the back, notice that there's voltage. There's 13.8 and there's adjust. Mine is set at 13.8 because I don't plan on using it with any other things. But if you put it to adjust, you can actually have this go from 9 to 15 volts. So if you want to power some 9-volt device, you can. A 12-volt device, you can. So it goes up to 15, and that's where the voltage adjusts. So if you put the switch to adjust, then on the front, this knob will adjust the power, and you'll see it here on the meter, from 9 to 15 volts. But when the switch is put to 13.8, it is fixed. The knob in the front doesn't do anything. Um, there's the 50 amp outputs are here in the back. This is where you can actually push out up to 50 amps. There's a fuse and, of course, the power cord and the fan. Is it noisy? You know what? In standard operation, for example, voice SSB uh, use, things like that, with 100 watts on my Yesu FTDX10, I never hear this, the fan go on. Never, never, never. I've actually driven the power supply in a way with, uh, I have some 12-volt um, incandescent bulbs that I've actually used uh, that each take two amps. And I've put many of them together to actually generate about 35 amps. And I left it like that. It took about, at 35 amps continuous, it took about two minutes, and the fan started rolling. And, of course, when it's really in a high rating, it actually does make some noise. But the thing is, this fan never goes on in standard use. So unless you're transmitting 100 watts constant, um, this you'll never hear the fan. Honestly, you'll never, never hear the fan. And my Yisu FTDX10 at transmit takes roughly 20 amps. So we're in the 2021 20, amp uh, phase where while I'm transmitting, for example, FM 100 watts, it'll be 100 amps. Uh, or if I do some heavy duty like FT8 for a real DX, uh, a tough DX to get, and I, I decide that I want to pump up to 100 watts, it'll roughly take 20 amps. 
which is less than half of what the power supply is capable of. Once again, it is a good power supply. Don't be afraid to put your $2,000 transceiver on this thing. It has a lot of protections inside. There's actually a couple of YouTube videos where they actually looked at it inside, and, and there's tons of protection. Uh, this is a high-end power supply. It's not a cheap power supply. Of course, it comes in a metal frame. And what's cool, it isn't too heavy because it's a switching power supply. So it's easy to bring along everywhere. They do have a 30-amp equivalent. And I have the 30 amp equivalent here. Same, very high quality. So if you need something that doesn't, you know, need more than 30 amps, and even smaller and even more, uh, even lighter and easy to bring along everywhere, you can check out and get the uh, 30 amp version, which is less expensive. Here in Canada, this is roughly $200. The 30 amp version, 129. So in the U.S., it's probably less expensive because the, the the U.S. dollar is worth a little more than Canadian. So you guys should have it for a lower price. But if you're looking for a power supply that is amazingly good, is very quiet for a switching power supply, and you don't want to dish out because, you know what, I looked at the Linear power supply and, and all of that, the Anstron and all that. I'm not buying that. Too expensive. And anyways, why invest in a heavy 20-ton power supply? I think it's worth it's worthless today. Honestly, this works great. Does a great job. It's less expensive, easy to bring along, and you can actually buy three of those for the same price. You'll have one of those huge, um, you know, um, linear power supplies. So um, amazing! If you are looking for a power supply that's not going to break the bank and that does the job, this is definitely something to get. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.